I never saw in real life a physique look like that. And I just, you know, I marveled at it. I just couldn't believe that this was actually attainable. So it can be possible because these other guys did it. You got love for something? You know what they say? Ain't really too much of nothing you really wouldn't do to do it. I was had, you know, I had the Ronnie Coleman, Jay Cutler battle, you know, and that was probably the best battle we've ever seen. You are about 290 pounds right now. You put on a lot of muscle this last year. I want to know, can you take down the champ? I wouldn't be here if I didn't think I could, right? All these guys sitting around here talking about what they're going to do. Hey, this is a joke. I'll be cheap. Like I really miss those days. Last when when was the prime of your bodybuilding era? You loved it the most. Honestly, the battles with Ronnie. I'll, I'll say this without arrogance. Dick Cutler's the greatest bodybuilder of all time. I never had a lot of self-doubt. You know, people look at his arrogance, and, and I'm just so confident that maybe sometimes I come off as that, but um, I've been knocked out enough times and, and came back from it that I just, I just never gave up, and I always believed in myself. And I mean, I was so disciplined, man. There was no bodybuilder on this fucking planet that was more disciplined than I was at that time. I felt like a fucking machine man. I Everything just clicked. Like I told you, I could do anything. I went in the gym and I trained with lightweights. I trained with heavyweights. It didn't matter what I did. Everything just clicks. The second place finisher in the 2001 Olympia, Jay Cutler. To the four time Olympia winner, Ron Coleman. He's like, I'm telling you, you can beat Ronnie Coleman. Jay, I'm telling you, you're going to beat this guy. I'm telling you, Jay, you're going to beat this guy. So in the lineup, when I was standing next to Ronnie, the people were like, holy shit, Jay's beating Ronnie Coleman from the front. It's the first time in my career that I actually knew, shit, I'm going to win this Olympia contest. I knew myself I would win. Um, and I knew in 2006, I knew 100% I was going to win the Mr. Olympia in 2006. I had no doubt in my mind. But every year I watched Ronnie stand next to me and before he fell on the ground and he cried, he was scared. He was scared. You'll see Ronnie Coleman mouthing some things to me and Ronnie Coleman said, well, you beat me. He said, you won. 
and I, I didn't know what to say. I, 